In a country that the vast majority of the population believes that mental health disorders are caused by supernatural powers like evil spirits, sensitization and creating awareness can be a challenge. <laughs> Yawi, a community-based organization, has partnered with communities to roll out counseling services targeting heads of households, particularly men within low-income settlements in Nakuru. <laughs> Speaking in Nakuru, the executive director, Karanja, observed that to effectively tackle mental health issues, men need to be encouraged to talk freely about their feelings. We just wanted to find out how they are feeling on or how they are coping with the COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, actually we realized most of them have lost their income and some of them, even their spouses, do not have an income. And that means they were having a lot of challenges that has led to mental stress and uh, we realize that uh, we need to reach out to them. Haven of Dreams, a community-based organization working in partnership with Yawi, further works with people in low-income settlements to create and tackle the mental health burden. Zipora Nyangara, head of programs at Haven Dreams, works with 300 individuals in tackling the issue. We are emphasizing that for a woman, they also have a space in the community. And for them, because of also the obligations and the responsibilities that they have been given as the homemakers, as the ones that are just putting the families together, they need to take care of themselves. Nyangara says most mental health disorders are treatable and those affected can lead a healthy and normal life. She adds that her entity enlightens the people on the impact of depression as a mental illness, terming it as a significant contributor to the rising cases of gender-based violence during the COVID-19 period. Because you will find homes that the woman has been able to just take care of themselves, know their worth. They flourish more than homes that women are struggling with even finding who they are and their purpose. And that is why we still come together just to tell the woman, know your purpose, find your why. Why is it that you're here? Are you just here to exist or are you here living? And once you do that, once you're able to find your purpose, it moves now from you to your family, to the community and to the entire nation. Rathi Suleiman, a beneficiary of the counseling program, acknowledges that most men do not admit that they are suffering, a factor she says is owed to the fact that the society has normalized the situation to the extent of not taking time to understand the root of the problem. As you as a, a father, as a husband, it's you to generate, it's you to provide. Now if it reaches a situation that you cannot provide, the whole, it, seems, it seems like the whole world is on you. You don't know where to go to. I want to thank this organization. They have come up with this idea, and I pray that God may help them. I love tena to me funzo kusu mamba ya violence. Kama uko na jirani yako, anapitia violence, kupigo na mze, kama kuna mtoto pia anapitia the same, same thing. To me funzo leo ni vizuri, unareporti, si vizuri the World Health Organization estimates that over 300 million people are affected by the condition which is linked to the suicides of over 800,000 people each year. Suicide is the second leading cause of death among youth in the 15 to 29 age bracket.